everybody Ann here, sitting here in the tiny house, having my coffee with all of you wonderful people. Last night with the new baby chicks, it went really, really well. I've been studying up on how to introduce younger birds to an established flock, although the leghorns are still pretty young themselves, and uh, I'm going to do it gradually, so you'll get to see how I do that. But they did great last night, and they're doing great this morning. So the first clips I'm going to show you are from yesterday after I brought them home. And then I'm going to show you a clip of them, how they're doing today. Okay, you guys, look what I got. I got two different kinds. There's six baby chicks. I was only going to get four, but I decided at the last minute to get two barred rocks. There's four Asian blacks. And two barred rocks. The Asian blacks are supposed to be pretty big chickens. She said that those were the biggest ones that they had, and I thought that they would contend with Mr. Lucas' big rooster. And um, so four Asian blacks, two barred rocks. Those are supposed to be pretty big too. They're going to be beautiful birds, beautiful birds. So I need to get these home and in their little pen. Oh, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to expand. I'm going to have to expand that little brooder. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. Okay, here we go, you guys. Let's take them one by one. Oh, you sweet little chickens. Look at this one. This is an Asian black. Oh, I love you, sweetheart. No pasty butt. There you go. Another Asian black. No pasty butt. Oh, I got to introduce him to the water. Oops. Oh, it's hard to do. Sorry, chicken. There you go. That's for you, too. There you go. Two down. Another Asian black. So sweet. No pasty butt. Oh, you're so pretty. These already have some of their feathers. So they're two weeks old. Okay. And another Asian black. Beautiful chicken. No pasty butt. I know you guys are stressed. I know. There you go, there's some water. Now for the last two. Oh. There's a barred rock. Look at those feathers. You're sweet. No pasty, uh, nope, no pasty butt. Oh, look at those feathers. Oh, you guys are gonna be gorgeous. There you go. And last but not least, this one seems a little bit stressed. Bard Rock. Look. Cut feathers already. Nope. No pasty butt. Okay, chickens, you're going to be fine. There you go. There's a little bit of water. And there they are, you guys. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm definitely going to... I'm going to bring this further this way. I'm going to make it bigger. I hadn't planned on getting six, but I did, so I may just end up cutting that door off altogether. But look how cute they are. Let me get closer. Oh, look! One pooped already. <laughs> They're all just hovering around each other. They're probably a little stressed out. Well, I'm just going to let them settle in for a little bit. Um, I'll give them some food a little bit later on today. Hopefully they just won't stand <laughs> stand in the water all day long. So, yep, I'll keep you updated on how this is going. Oh, my goodness. Look, they're eating. I had to separate fruit bowls because these chickens are actually kind of big, and they were all trying to get at the one little feed bowl thingy. And so now that they've got two, they all get to eat, and they found their water, but they've been drinking their water. This one over in the lower right is probably going to poop in that bowl, but... Oh well, I guess that's part of it. Yeah, so six baby chickens in this. I need to expand, definitely. All right, these baby chickens are doing really, really good. I have filled up their feed bowls 
twice already and they have completely consumed all of it. I've even looked around in the bedding to see if they're just kicking it out, but no, they're not. They're eating it. Oh my gosh, they're chow hounds. They are chow hounds. They are. And I have to keep them from just like sitting on top of the water thingy because they'll poop in it. <laughs> But they are so, so cute. They're so sweet. And they perked up. I was a little worried there for a little bit like I was with the other leghorn chickens at first because they seemed a little bit stressed at first. But they've been drinking their water. They've been eating their chicken feed. And they're just doing really, really great, you guys. I am so excited. I've already told uh, Mr. Lucas' family, his wife, his daughter, his daughter-in-law, and his other, in, uh, well, his uh, daughter-in-law's family, what I'm doing, and they're not going to tell him what's going on. So as soon as I get these chickens raised up to where they're big enough to contend with that rooster, which is going to be several months, <laughs> it's going to be several months, I will give him the pick of all of these. Um, I think he, he needs to have at least two of them, at least two, if not three. So it's going great. They're just so sweet, and they are they are more amenable to human touch than leghorns are, and they don't mind me going in and touching them and picking them up and stuff. So look at that. Look at that feed bowl over there. Oh my gosh, it's empty and I just filled it up. Oh my goodness. And here's how they're doing this morning. There they are. Look at how sweet they are. Here, let me just set this light down for just a minute. I'm going to open this up. They are doing really, really great. They eat so, so much, so much more than those leghorns. I can't believe it. I filled up their bowls today, and in fact, I, I kind of dumped out just a little tiny bit, um, and they scratched through and got all the stuff that I dumped out. They've eaten almost everything in their little bowls. They're all drinking. Look at those two barred rocks, those two right there. They're going to be so pretty. They're all going to be gorgeous. Because, but you can already tell these uh, chicks are all the same age, but the black Asians are bigger. They are bigger. They're, they were all hatched on the same day. Um, they were two weeks old as of yesterday. So, yeah, yeah, they're going to be big. They're going to be big chickens. So, I don't know. I'm just going to watch them for the rest of the day. Got to chop down some weeds and whatnot. But they stayed nice and warm overnight, and they were just fine in their little box. Some of them like to get up on there. That's why I put that newspaper up there. These are just delightful. They are totally different than the leghorns, totally different. I mean, the leghorns seemed scared, really, all the time. They still are, kind of, but they do follow me around. These ones, I can just reach my hand down in there and pick one up, and they're totally cool with that. So I can't wait to see these chickens grow. So I think what I'm going to do for the rest of the day is use that John blade that Mr. Lucas sent me, or at least try to use it and try and get some more weeds down and whatnot. I may even try and go over there and get those passion vines and see if I can transplant them somewhere. There's one bucket of, uh, I think it's beets, that, that's just not growing. So I may just go ahead and plant them in the bucket. I don't know. I think I can do that, at least temporarily. So that's what I'm going to do with the rest of my day. I might show you that in tomorrow's video. But i got to get going. i got to get to work. Um, it's going to be another hot day today, so I want to get going kind of early. So that's all i got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.